So swimsuits, tops and dresses, bottoms, jackets. Hello everybody. I was laying in bed last night and I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something going on tomorrow. So I checked my calendar and I have a doctor's appointment this morning, the day I'm actually 15 weeks. I forgot we scheduled like three months out worth of appointments so that I could get with my doctor every time. And Emma actually has dance this morning and they are at the exact same time. So Justin is taking Emma, Ruben and Asher to dance class while I do this doctor's appointment. I'm hoping it's pretty quick. I, I don't think they really do much at this appointment they just maybe listen to baby's heartbeat on the doppler for the first time normal questions and all of that but i'm pretty sure today is a very simple easy appointment and i made it on time despite thinking i was gonna be late getting out the door so i'm gonna go in and hope that we are in and out in less than an hour i actually beat justin home from dance class from the ob which is surprising because the ob is usually kind of a long wait went by pretty quickly this morning in comparison everything is good the baby's heartbeat was great. I think he said it was like 157. Scheduled my anatomy scan, which is a big deal. Um, I get to do that at the actual OBGYN this time. I've always done my anatomy scans at the hospital where the perinatologist is. I think that was because they were all IVF. I don't remember why Bryn was. She must. It must have just been because she was IVF. Or maybe they didn't even do them in the office at that time. I'm not really sure. But we don't have to do the fetal echo or anything because it's not an IVF baby this time, which is really exciting. It's going to be a lot smoother so I scheduled the anatomy scan which is gonna be at the OBGYN in just another month which is crazy he also confirmed that the NIPT said we're having another girl so now we know for sure for sure for sure for sure oh, don't scratch me no and that was it like I said I think today was a super easy going appointment not really anything going on just used the Doppler and we're good this guy missed me hi buddy <laughs> Come here. I missed you. Come here. Come here, stuff butt. I missed you. I did. I did. I think I said this already, but today's Monday though, and we have another trip this week for just two nights, thankfully. And I was gonna go return my friend's suitcase because we borrowed it for Hawaii, but I'm gonna ask her if I can keep it for just another two nights because it's so much easier to put everything in one piece of luggage. Um, so I'm gonna start packing for that other trip today, which honestly, packing does not sound fun right now after having just packed for a whole week in Hawaii. But it's gonna be a lot easier. It's just two nights. Um, it's gonna be super simple, I think. I don't even need to pack this early I could probably wait till tomorrow night but what the heck yep still in my belly you go to the doctor I did and I'm home I'm cleaning up the rose bushes I still have so much laundry to do for myself. So I'm starting with packing for the kids because they're a little bit easier. They have a lot, like generally a lot more clothes than I do. So they can go without a few things for the next two days. I spread everything into piles. So I kind of know like what everyone has of each. So swimsuits, tops and dresses, bottoms, jackets, swimming diapers and pull-ups and then pajamas. There's so many things for kids, at least generally speaking, I think, that you can't pack until like the morning of your trip. For us, that includes 
the sound machine. We kind of like to bring a, um, what's it called? A baby monitor when we go places. I don't know if we're gonna bring it this time because this is just a one bedroom suite. So the boys are just gonna be like right next to us, but it's good to have it just in case. Like, I don't know, it's just good. So all three of the kids still use their hatch sound machines and they will use those every night until we leave. So I can't pack those yet. And then I don't typically pack like diapers um, until the morning of too, because I'll just kind of eyeball like how many we need. And the kids all have a good amount of like Disney stuff since we're going to Disneyland. So I've got Emma's got almost all Disney shirts. The boys have these. These ones are just plain. And then these are so cute. They're from June and May. I'll tag her because these are just to die for. Also, Justin and I are huge fans of packing cubes. We can typically fit all of the kids stuff for one trip for all three of them into one packing cube. That might change when we have four kids, but we could maybe do the boys in one and the girls in another. There's still so much space in these and not even that, but it it's organized. It's easy to find what you're looking for. Justin and I will each use one as well for all of our stuff. And then the fill-ins are stuff like, you know, the swim diapers, et cetera, et cetera. I'll probably even go in here and pick out a couple things for the day that we leave because there's three days total and they won't need that much stuff. So I've got them mostly packed already. I will say the more kids you have, the longer it takes to pack and the more like prep it takes to make sure that you're not forgetting anything. I did really good with Hawaii. I honestly don't think we forgot anything. We actually came back with more than we left with. Souvenirs, macadamia nuts, all of that kind of stuff. So our luggage actually was like two pounds overweight, which was a huge bummer. But this is really easy. Disneyland is not that far from us. So in case of emergency, there's really gonna be no issue. You can always go buy anything that's nearby, et cetera, et cetera. And then as soon as my laundry finishes up, I will finish packing my stuff. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I looked at the weather. It looks like it's gonna be like 75 and sunny, which is gonna be so perfect. And I don't think I'm gonna really do a lot of Disney stuff. I just wanna wear what's comfortable for me right now. <laughs> Fairly certain by the time I come back in here, Mr. will have made his home in my suitcase because that's what he always does. Copyright strike for Barbie doll. And Justin is finally done with, are you done with work? Huh? Are you done with your work? No! Did I'm anybody not done hear work. us at all? Oh gosh, that's a lot. This is, this is normal loud. This is the oh, end of the so. day chaos. We're at around four o'clock. This is about when we start thinking about putting movies on, depending on how the kids are doing. We haven't put the TV on at all today, yeah, actually. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Ruben heard that there's chaos going on and said, let me get in on that. I gotta go over it. You look so pretty when what you're pregnant. What are you pregnant. doing? You know I thought that? you were sniffing my neck. It's weird. Stop. Does it smell that good? I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing the new perfume you got me for Ow, Christmas. I just ran over my toe. <laughs> he deserves that. Karma. Karma. Oh, 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 he got oh, me this really good perfume. What's it called? Oh, it's the oh, Chanel. Oh, uh, <laughs> Something is pink and it's whatever a circle. The, whatever the lady gave me when I showed it's, you the picture. It's so good. I love the smell. It's of like that. from something. I got Justin a super fancy cologne. <laughs> that's right. I haven't used cologne in it's, gosh years. That's why I, haven't I got used it. cologne since before we had kids. That's why I got it. It's the Tom Ford. What? I forget what it's called. Have you even used it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, it smells. We haven't right. used it a lot because I still can't smell from COVID. But that's you why. I he, so it. he lost his smell, but he has it in the morning but not at the end of the day. I, I don't, don't know have if that's it in normal. the afternoon. I have it for like an hour or two a day. That's about it. It's very weird. And I don't know if anyone else has random. experienced that, but mine's back. But I think I was like heightened by the pregnancy because like my smell came back really quickly and really Like right strong. now I can taste this coffee a little bit. Even when I can smell and taste, it's not 100%. You gonna show everyone your Barbie? <laughs> you know what I just realized? I think this is the oldest mug that I have. And if you guys have been following us oh, for a long time, that mug. you guys know that this is like Asher, my what is mug that? ever. Asher, what is that? It's the best mug. He still doesn't say lion. I've been working on it, but he just says Okay, oh, now back. we're on a roll with our back. mug this collection. This is the best mug. This is, this is the best That's mug. from Universal, right? Yeah. yeah I think that's out of Universal. It's the biggest mug. Oh, 
mama up, mama up. You really love looking at the camera. Can you say cheese? Cheese. <laughs> oh, his canines. They finally came in when we were um. When we were in Hawaii, I think. That was a rough night, that first night, because of that. But his canines are finally in. His hair is growing long. Asher is the kid that I'm worried the most about with um, the new baby coming. He is still just super attached, and I think he's gonna get jealous. He gets really mad when I hold my friend's daughter <laughs> because he wants the attention on him and not on the baby. You wanna come this way? Yeah. Okay, I'll move. So I think he's gonna have the hardest time. <laughs> Maybe he'll grow out of it by then. I love you. <laughs> Aw, that was so sweet. Alright, see you later, Ryder. Anyways, we'll end the vlog here for the day. You're being so sweet. And we will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.